It's been nine months. I've probably made you guys wait long enough for part two of this video, so we should probably just dive straight into it, right? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking through. This is part two for the first video that I've ever made, which recently hit 100k views, by the way. So I want to say a big thank you to that. That did way better than I was ever expecting. And I'm just really glad that I managed to help you guys out and kind of give you an understanding on how to set up a Twitch channel for the first time. Uh, before I dive in, I do want to say if you guys have got any questions at all, I do have links to my social media. I have a huge Discord community, which is really, really amazing. It's full of streamers and stuff like yourself is also full of gamers and, and all that kind of jazz. So if you want to go in there, you want to meet some people that kind of like you, you also want to ask me some questions directly, or you want to learn a little bit more about streaming itself, then the link to that will be in the description. I also have a Twitter page, and I also have an Instagram if you guys want to send me a DM on there. And I also stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you've got any questions, you can also reach me on that platform. Okay, so to start with on this video, what we're going to do is going to be like an overview on actually how to use Twitch itself. So if you saw my first part one to this video, I was explaining how you can actually set up your channel, the kind of things that you need to do there. And on this video, I'm going to finally explain to you guys how Twitch works for a brand new person coming to Twitch. So we're going to talk about what subs are, what gifted subs are, how bits work, how followers work versus subscribers, um, kind of how to set up your channel page for the first time. I will also be doing another video in tandem with this one on how to use Twitch bots because Twitch bots are really important and, and there's not really too much information out there about that. And it's just kind of something you normally just hear someone talk about. You're like, oh wait, what's that? Do I need something? And it's just, yeah, it's, it's a little bit confusing. So I'm going to try and explain that best I can. And also how donations work and how tipping and and the pros and cons of a personal over business PayPal uh, and how you can use that for your tipping link. Okay, so just before that, this video is actually sponsored by SteelSeries. SteelSeries are an absolutely incredible brand and I use a full SteelSeries peripheral set. I use their Apex 7 keyboard, I use their Arctis 5 headphones, and I use their Rival 6 mouse. All of them are unbelievable and I love them massively. You guys can actually use code ICEWHITE12 at the SteelSeries checkout if you want to save yourself 12%. So thank you SteelSeries for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so welcome to your brand new Twitch channel. For this video, I've created a new channel. It's kind of one I use for like testing and stuff. And I'm just going to kind of go through this and explain to you guys how everything works and just really hold your hand. It's going to be a little bit tough. I'm going to try my hardest not to waffle and make all of the points really concise. But there is a lot for you guys to learn if you don't know a lot about Twitch and you're coming here for the first time. But this is your landing page. This is what your channel will look like to visitors of your page coming over here for the first time. As you can see, we currently don't have have a profile picture we don't have a banner and we have no offline image but i will go through and show you guys how to upload all of those in a second uh but for now i'm just going to kind of go through what all these different tabs are and explain just a little bit about what everything is okay so you've got your home tab which is the first um page that you kind of come to normally what you'll see on most uh streamers pages is they'll have a channel trailer that will play when they come on to the page themselves and that's basically just a short form video just to kind of advertise yourself explain what's going on so if people have come over from your twitter account or or they've come over from your YouTube and they want to see what you're like when you stream. It's just kind of like a little introduction video that you can give people and kind of convince them to follow you. You also have normally a past broadcast that you've done because I don't have any past broadcasts on this channel and you won't either. They won't show up. But eventually when you are a streamer and you have created streams before, they will appear and you will have VODs, which are videos on demand that will show up. And that's what people can click and watch just to kind of see what your content's like. We also have the about page. So on the about page, this is where you'd add your channel bio and also links to your other social media. Um, your channel bio is kind of just like a short paragraph explaining a little bit about yourself, maybe a little bit about your personality and why you stream, the games you play, and it gives that person that's coming to your channel offline that little bit of information about you because this is where you can do your main advertising for yourself. It also has links for uh, social media as well. So if someone is watching your stream and they want to go follow you somewhere else, they've also got quick links. Very similar to YouTube. If you look at my YouTube page on my banner, you should see on the bottom right corner, you should see a load of different social media links and like little icons for Twitter and stuff and you'll have the exact same thing on Twitch. Uh, now the old way of doing that was channel panels. So you used to have an about me panel. Uh, you'd also have to have like a link to your discord. You'd normally have something like follow me. Really the only thing that you need a link to now in channel panels is a donation link. So that's where people can come down. They can normally click an image or they can click a link and uh, they will be able to donate to you, which is one of the ways you can actually make money on stream. But that's kind of the only thing that channel panels are for. Uh, to edit your panel, you come down to your about section, you go to edit panels here 
you scroll down to this section probably won't have any if i remove all of these I'll show you that most most of the time it starts off blank but if you want to add a new one you would just hit the plus arrow here you'd add either a text or an image and then you can add image and you can browse your computer to upload one and then you can give it a link so when people actually click that image it will take them off of the twitch website and then you can give a description of what the link is and that's how i added that text underneath that's super easy it's pretty self-explanatory and which have a load of articles and stuff as well on that if you get a little bit stuck or if you want to learn some markdown language and, and add some bold characters or something like that you can do uh but yeah that's pretty much it for the about page i will show you how to add a channel bio uh in a second as well i'll just go through the other tabs um and i'll also show you how to add social links and profile pictures okay so the next tab is the schedule tab this is really cool and it's a brand new feature that twitch have just implemented and this essentially it's like a school timetable it shows people that are coming to your channel what days you're streaming and what games you're going to be playing and also at what time and you can set that up from your settings in advance so i set up on my page that i go live every thursday at 9 p.m and i normally put in in advance what game i'm going to be playing just so when people are coming to my page for the first time or it's returning viewers and they haven't been there for a while they can kind of see what i'm going to be doing and what i'm going to be playing whether or not they want to tune in so that is really cool again super self-explanatory but i will show you that in the settings uh, your video section this channel doesn't have any videos and you won't either if you just create this for the first time but this is normally where you would come uh, on a channel to see your past broadcast so every broadcast you do on twitch uh, is saved you can change that option if you don't want that to be a thing but by default it is enabled so anytime you do a stream it will be saved for 30 days and people can come back and watch that and the same with clips uh, so what clips are on twitch is if someone's watching your stream and they want to take a small snippet it's normally up to about 30 seconds of something funny that happened say you get an insane headshot or you get a crazy raid or someone donates to you like a thousand dollars someone can actually pause that moment in the uh, stream they can take a clip of that and then they can upload it to your channel and that will stay there permanently um, and that's what will be found in the video section and it's normally by this little drop down arrow so you see you have past broadcasts you have clips highlights uploads all that kind of thing don't worry about the other things for now they're not really that important clips and past broadcasts are the main thing that you need and of course you finally have your chat and this is where when you're live streaming itself you can come in and people can talk to you um, and yeah that's pretty much the basic user interface for twitch right now okay so moving on to settings um this is where things can get a little bit complicated and i know if you've never been on twitch before it can be a little bit mind-blowing so if you want to open your settings tab what you want to do is you want to come over here and click on your profile picture and you'll get this lovely little drop down you'll be able to choose dark theme or light theme obviously if you're not a heathen you will go for dark theme because light theme is just awful and i will think really really badly of you if you use light theme i'm joking of course but dark theme is definitely better um so yeah that's a really handy button if you're like me and you like things to not be as bright but you have channel overview so you have your main channel which which is what I just showed you. So that's where you can go and actually look at your channel as a viewer. Uh, you have video producer, so that's where you can edit some of your past broadcasts and you can change the thumbnail, kind of like on a YouTube video. No one really does that on Twitch yet. And you can also like cut down and download different, different portions of your stream if you want to upload them to YouTube, you can do. You have your creator dashboard, which we'll be looking at in a second. Uh, you have your friends tab. So that's where you can see who you're friends with on Twitch. Again, it's a feature that's not really used. So you don't really need to worry about that ever. You have your subscriptions tab, which is really important because this shows you people that you're subscribed to it's also where you can cancel subscriptions which again i will show you because no one ever talks about that and that can be quite stressful if you've subbed and you don't want it to come out again or you've forgotten about having a subscription you want to cancel it and you don't know where to go so i'll show you that uh drops we don't really need to talk about and wallet we don't really need to talk about right now we'll save those for a later date uh but we're going to focus right now on your creator dashboard so uh this is where you come this is where you get access to most of your things uh so these have got some really cool uh tutorials so we've got the twitch 101 tutorial which is really good for new streamers kind of what we're doing right now uh so kind of negates the need for that but yeah this is the main place we're gonna go so seeing as we're setting up the channel i'm gonna go straight down here to preferences so this is the little cog here and it says preferences and we're gonna want to go to channel so if we click channel this is where you can get your stream key so you need this key here uh on this channel to stream directly um it is hidden by default just so no one if i was doing a youtube video like this no one can come along and, and copy it so yeah, this is where you can get your stream key most of the time if you're using streaming software you won't need that because you should just be able to sign in or do it automatically but in case you ever do need it that's where you can find it it's in your channel preferences uh and your create dashboard this is also where you can see the past broadcasts option uh right here i've just enabled it so as you can see it will automatically save broadcast for up to 14 days sorry uh and 60 days for our partners and prime users so that's where you can turn it on so you can save your past broadcast so people can come and watch those in your leisure which is really cool uh, also enable clips so people can do that this is also where you can enable uh, subscriber only mode obviously as we're not a twitch affiliate yet on this channel uh it's pointless doing that because we won't have subscribers and also follow 
invite only mode i always recommend unless you're being botted or something don't ever ever like bother turning that on it's just a really bad idea down here is where we can change our profile picture so uh, we have the profile picture here and it's super easy we've got to do is click add profile picture you come over to your browser i will just select something just super simple one of many logos that i have uh, that will just upload and as you can see the profile picture has been successfully changed super basic super straightforward that background that i showed you before on the channel that just said the name over and over and over again that's your channel background or channel banner i've uploaded one already but again it's the same procedure is for the chat profile picture you just come here to the upload button you upload it gives you the best dimensions you can use and then you can select a picture that you have on your desktop um, and upload it i've already uploaded one so i don't need to do that again here, here you have your username so you can change that once you change it i think it takes about another two months before you can change it again but if you want to change it you can you just hit that little edit button and it'll give you an option to do so what your display name is is the same as um, your username but it allows you to have capitalization so if i want to obviously like i've capitalized the g in the L of Global Legacy, I can do that. This is also where I come if I want to add my bio so I can add a little bit about myself. That was the section I talked about on the about page. Um, so you can just say whatever you want. For now, I'm just gonna put a little gibberish so I can show you what it looks like on the page. We have the accent color. So that's just how you want your Twitch to look. That's kind of more up to you. Customization options, I won't kind of go into that. And finally, the video player banner. So this is the image that shows when you're offline. It's normally a 1920 by 1080 image. Uh, so I'm just gonna upload something basic. And normally it will just say channel offline, uh, see my about page for more info, which is a really good thing to do. And it kind of directs people to your channel page. And it also then directs people to your social media links, which is just really beneficial for you. And like I said before on the about, page uh, you can add social media links and this is where we would do that so if i wanted to add the social media link here i'll just type in text to show so i'd say twitter and that twitter is going to link to uh, my twitter page um, which is twitter.com forward slash ice i want to go check it out give me a follow feel free um but yeah that's where you that's where you add that and you can add multiple if you want to so that's been saved and it recognizes that it's a twitter link so we can click that here just to make sure it goes to the right place sure enough it does that's my twitter page awesome you can also set up your stream schedule like i spoke about so so if I wanted to add a stream, I could say I was going to start at uh, 3 p.m. Uh, the duration is going to be a 10 hour stream because I'm crazy. That's going to happen every Friday. The category I'm going to stream in is going to be just just chatting for 10 hours. My voice is probably going to be really, really, really hoarse. And then uh, test stream for the title. If I hit save now, that will now be set up for every Friday. You can see that I'm going to go live for that amount of time. And it's going to be in your local time zone as well, which is really great. So if anyone's looking at that from an EST standpoint, so say you live in America and you come onto this channel page, you'll see it in your time zone, which is really cool. So Twitch do that automatically. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all I need to explain about actually setting up your channel. And it's that easy to do. And it's super, super, super straightforward. Forward. Now to kind of go into more of the lingo and kind of more of the jargon of Twitch. Um, so as you can see here on this list, we have something called auto host and we also have something called rating so on twitch as a platform there's two things you can do if you're streaming and you have a lot of audience members watching you what the normal practice is at the end of the stream is you can raid somebody so you type in slash raid followed by someone's name and what's going to happen is a little box is, is going to appear at the top of your stream and everyone is going to either be able to opt into the raid or opt out of and it's normally a really good time because you can get everyone to hype up the end of the stream uh you can tell everyone to go spam some emotes kind of really go promote yourself and it's just a really nice way of being able to share your community and your audience with someone else so once a raid initiates everyone from your page will immediately be dumped onto someone else's stream so your page will refresh uh, all of your audience members will go over automatically to the other streamer you can kind of spread some joy um, and just share your community with other people it's a really nice thing to do it's really fun you can opt out of raids if you don't want to so that's actually an, uh, actually an option so you can block all raids if you don't want to be raided yourself uh, but it's just part of the twitch thing and it's part of the twitch spirit so it's pretty fun to do hosting is pretty much the same except with a host it will actually just dump all of your viewers onto them but uh your viewers will have to click through sometimes most partner streamers will do that so instead of uh raiding you most partner streamers will just host you i tend to host rather than raid because that's just personal preference but it's entirely up to you whatever you want to do um but that's basically how that works okay so final thing a very long video because you're probably very bored and there was a lot of information to give you but hopefully it was very helpful uh we're just going to discuss what the differences between followers subscribers and explain what bits are also how to cancel subscriptions 
because no one ever explains how to do that. Um, so what a follower is really basically, it's similar to a subscription on YouTube. It's a way for people to stay up to date with the, your content. They get a notification when you go live, if you follow someone and they can come back and they can kind of keep tabs on you. Also, as you can see on the side here, this is the follower list. So people that I follow, I can see when they go live and I can click on that if I come onto Twitch and I just want to watch someone. So that's what followers are for. Subscribers on Twitch are very different to YouTube. These are actually paid for. They're very similar to YouTube memberships, if you know what that is. So essentially, if you subscribe to a channel, you're monetarily supporting that person that's streaming. You do get benefits oftentimes. So sometimes you will be able to watch subscriber only streams. So that's basically if the streamer decides that they only want to be able to have a night when they chat to subscribers only. So only people that have a subscription to your channel can chat to you and can participate. Uh, they also have VODs that are only accessible to subscribers. So if you want to go back and watch a streamer's uh, past broadcast, you can only do that if you're a sub in some cases. Uh, you also get access to emotes and emotes are basically Twitch's version of emojis. Uh, it's a way for a streamer to upload their own basically emojis and people can use them all over the site and they're just a really cool thing to do and that's some of the benefits. With subscriptions, you actually have three different tiers. So you have $4.99, which is tier one, $9.99, I believe, which is tier two and $24.99, which is tier three. Again, the benefits with those are subjective to the streamer and it's completely up for them to decide what they get. But the reason why people do subscribe to you is because they want to support you because they like their content. And yeah, I subscribe to people because I like their content. Uh, not really for any of the benefits, it's just because I want to support them because they're doing a great job. And I know a lot of people, this is their full-time job. So it's just a cool thing to do. Uh, bits are basically, um, it's almost like a cryptocurrency <laughs> for Twitch. So what you can do is you can go onto Twitch and you can actually buy bits and they're almost like little gems that appear in chat and a hundred bits is equal to one dollar. So what you what happens is when you cheer, normally chat message is highlighted and the reason why people do cheers and why the reason why people give bits is because a lot of the time people have text to speech. So it will read uh, the text to speech will read out what happens in the bit. Also, it's a good way if you're a slightly bigger streamer, it's a good way to get your message noticed because they will often go through and thank people that have given them bits and you can actually type a message with a bit that you give. So yeah, 100 bits is worth one dollar and you can give all the way up to I think like a hundred thousand bits in one go, uh, which is ridiculous amounts of money. So that's basically how that works. It's really self-explanatory. Um, the more you're on Twitch and the more you're kind of involved with it, the more you will understand. I'm hoping that this video gave you a good insight and you kind of managed to clear everything up, uh, any questions that you had. The final thing is just how to cancel subscriptions. So to do that, you come over to your profile picture, you go onto your subscriptions page. Currently, I don't have any subscriptions active, but normally you'll be able to see all the subs that you have. You can then click on three little dots and come up to where it says cancel subscription and that's it. You don't have to pay because normally uh, subscriptions are a monthly recurring payment uh, and I know it can be pretty stressful. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the sub uh, if you enjoy this content and you want to see more because I will be doing Twitch advice. Like I said, I stream every Monday, Thursday and Saturday on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT. So be there if you want to see that. Also, don't forget to join the Discord full of amazing content creators like yourself. Um, link is in the description if you want any help with anything Twitch related, that's the best place to go. Also, I'm on uh, Twitter and I'm also on Instagram if you've got any questions and you want to hit me up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or evening. Bye!